Uh, hey everybody, Dogbert here, back again with the new player guide. This is part two. Today I'll be going over the new player offers and who to build up to around uh, once you're leveling from 60 to 70 mostly. But you can also be who to build before that too. So let's get into this one. Uh, we'll start with the new player offers. First offer that comes pops up is the shield team for $25. It is a decent offer. You do get yo-yo out of it. You immediately unlock Captain America, Quake, uh, Black Widow, and Hawkeye. It is a good enough offer. And with this team, of course, you can also unlock Iron Man, who sucks. So do what you want to do. If you like these characters, go ahead. They are a decent uh, team. You can make out of them. Uh, eventually, you'll get Hulk, too. And you'll have uh, Wave 1, because you get Thor for free on the calendar. Uh, this $50 X-Men team, uh, unless you're really whaley and you really like the X-Men, do not buy this offer. The 180 Wolverine shards are absolutely worthless. You will get Wolverine for free by just playing the game every day. Uh, the rest of them really don't do much. Uh, you don't have Phoenix, so it doesn't really matter. You don't have Magic, doesn't matter. Nowhere near worth $50. This is another horrible offer, Winter Soldier's Absolute Junk, even though he does get used for Omega Red Unlock. Uh, the premium orb and 20 Merc Riot Guard who's in the, available in the Blitz store is absolutely ridiculous. Do not buy. There's also this dual shard offer. Dual offer. This is the cheaper version where it just gives you 45 Spider-Man and some orbs. And for a few dollars more, you can instead replace the last uh, Legacy 1 orb, I believe it is with 45 Venom Shards, it's an okay offer. If you want to get those shards, go right ahead. Up next, we also have a $5 Spider-Man for 135 shards, plus you get 10 Legacy 1, uh, 5 Legacy 1 orbs, sorry. I'm looking at the numbers there. Uh, this is a good good enough offer for $5. You get 135 shards. That's a lot of Blitz credits you don't have to spend, or Blitz orbs you don't have to open, and you can get your Spider-Man up and going quicker. Uh, Spider-Man is used in the Web Warriors team, which you will use later on as a raid team, so this is uh, definitely worth five bucks if you want to spend the money. Uh, also, you get uh, within the first couple days of when you start a new account, you get this Deadpool offer, 45 shards plus 225 cores for three bucks. Definitely worth it. Uh, the cores alone are worth it just to have. Let's get some extra Deadpool shards. You do get Deadpool for free. Uh, your second day logging in, you get him unlocked since he's only a one star unlock. You can also get him out of the uh, arena store, which you'll get it later on. He is decent enough in lower car at lower levels when you're first starting out. Uh, this is the same amount of shards, but this is for Vision. Not really a good character, so I wouldn't really recommend it unless you just don't mind spending three dollars to get the cores. Uh, this is the other one. This is Venom. You see, he's three dollars. This will kickstart you in the villain campaign real quick because you get Crossbones and Electra for free. This will give you your third villain right away. You don't have to wait for a premium or drop or anything like that to farm anybody. Plus, you get 225 cores. It is worth it to do it real quick. Uh, how much use are you going to get them out of the future? We don't know. The symbiotes really have died off, but they're still a good team. It's hard to say. Next up, we've got some, uh, another pretty good offer. It's $15. You do get the Guardians. You do get Gamora, but I'll be showing you that you get Gamora for free later on. Uh, the rest of the characters, Manus, Drax, Groot, and Rocket, are all way out of date and not really valuable. Though technically, um, this would put you on the road to get Star-Lord, and there is 7,000 energy. That's probably the biggest part of this offer is 7,000 energy. Which is both good and bad. Which, um, the bad thing is it gives you 7,000 energy, which is 7,000 experience, which makes you level quicker. Uh, because if you don't know that uh, once you get out, you get out of the starter blitz set uh, once you hit level 60. So this would actually put you on the road to get out of that blitz quicker because now you're leveling quicker. But I would not recommend buying this one unless you're buying uh, the next offer as well and you don't mind spending all this money to get these characters. Uh, because the next offer is the Sinister Six offer. This is $5 more. You can get 10,000 energy though, and you get the Sinister Six. You get 180 shards of them, that's uh, four stars each. These will help you unlock Invisible Woman, who's becoming a four star unlock, so you get Invisible Woman. And you can also go get Shuri. Shuri is actually quite valuable and will be needed later on. So 
This one's definitely the superior offer for only $5 more. You get more shards, you get more energy. This is definitely something to consider if you only have $20 to spend in the game, just buy this offer. Uh, next up we have a Minerva offer, offer to unlock her over two weeks for $10. Uh, she's not as important as she used to be, but she's still an okay character. Especially at lower levels, you can still use her. could still use her in Dark Dimension 2 as well. She is a War Store character, so there's some value there. They're not spending War credits, but there's better characters that you could get. The Red School team, this is absolutely horrible. $50. Um, Hydra at best is a War Defense team. Red School does have some splash value, and the Hydra team does have some splash value themselves. Once you're talking in the Greek Gamma Raid, that's about it. If you're in the middle lanes, do not buy. Power Armor team. Definitely not a good team. All these characters are easily attainable. Nearly not worth the $20. This one may be worth the $20. This gives you 100, char uh, 100 shards of five different characters. They're all mercenaries, so they would help you out with, out with a good little jump start to the payday event. So that one could be worth it. And just a little update to part one. I forgot to, check, to tell you to check the new website events daily because every day you do get, once you win a Blitz battle, you do get 100 energy, a premium orb, and 150 uh, RTA points, which won't affect you at first, but will later on. Uh, the 100 energy and the pre premium orb are quite critical to a new player, obviously. Uh, extra energy and, of course, an extra, some extra free shards of some random character when you don't have any characters is quite good. And on the right, we also have the calendar that's currently going out to new players. It's the Gamora calendar. You get to unlock Gamora after you log in for seven days, guaranteed. Plus, you get some gold orbs. You get some, uh, I think, the Legacy 2 orbs, if I recall. Uh, some blue T2 materials. And you even get a Mega Orb for just logging in. Quite a nice calendar. It's perfectly free. And it really helps you get that Gamora up and running quickly. So, unfortunately, it also means I'll be bringing your new, in the new player arena. So we're going to have Gamora. So, like I said before, before you hit level 60, uh, you are in the beginner blitz. You want to blitz hard, especially for the newer characters. The closer to 60 you get, the higher you should be placing in there, the more shards you should be getting of those new characters, even unlocking them. Or even getting four stars, you know, depending on how you do. Once you hit 60, though, the blitz after you reach 60, you know, so if you're, you hit 60, say, after the Thursday blitz started, uh... It, on the Sunday Blitz, when that starts, you would then be thrown into the Wolves and be competing with everybody else, and good luck. And let's not forget, if you unlock these characters here, Maria Hill, Deathpool, Silver Surfer, Emma Frost, Sharon Carter, Shang-Chi, Captain Sam, uh, Icarus and Cersei, Orchestral, build them as high as you can. Uh, that always goes on. Everything I'm about to tell you is all characters I know you can easily obtain or farm as a newer player without having to spend money. And you're not having to rely on orb drops. So the first priority for you, you should be building is your arena team. This may also double as your raid team. Some of the easier ones uh, that are easier to obtain are Zemo, uh, Gamora, Nebula, Philovel, Shang-Chi, Sharon Carter, and Maria Hill. If you're looking, for, there's no absolute best team uh, out of these characters. Uh, the highest priorities would probably be like Shang-Chi, Zemo. Um, you want to use Gamora and Nebula together along with Phyla Vell. But Maria Hill and Sharon Carter could also be used. You can make mix and match as you need. Maria Hill is a healer and does some, uh, some troopers. Um, Sharon Carter does give ability blocks. Shang Chi is just amazing. Phyla Vell cleanses, but is best with uh, Nebula and Gamora because they are a team of the Infinity Watch. And Zemo is just uh, all around fast, uh, strips buffs off, and ability blocks and everything. Second priority is start building your DD2 team. You're going to need five characters at year 13. Uh, the other thing you also want to consider is uh, once it uh, comes into the uh, gold store for you, you want to start buying up the orange gear in there, or gold gear, whatever you want to call it, in order to have these characters ready to go once you hit level 70 and get into Dark Dimension 2. You don't go into Dark Dimension 1 first, you go to Dark Dimension 2 uh, because the requirements of Dark Dimension 2 are just that gear requirement, whereas Dark Dimension 1's requirement was 6 star characters, which you need 5 of. 
which you're probably not going to have, but once you complete Dark Dimension 2, you'll have at least one of Ultron, and you'll probably have Hulk and Wolverine up at that level. Then it's just a matter of uh, two, a couple more. So again, this is uh, going to be largely subjective to who you have unlocked through, you know, those free Mega Orbs, those free Premium Orbs, um, who you can get in the beginner blitzes, obviously new characters. Like if you're starting now, we know the Dark Hole team's coming. Those characters are probably going to be phenomenal. Um, if they unlock to new players, <laughs> obviously put them on this. They might be on this list as well that you might want to be doing instead. So the same characters we talked about before, Zima, Gamora, Nebula, Philovel, Shang-Chi, Maria Hill, Sharon Carter are all in this conversation. Of course, if you get lucky and lock some of the bottom row characters here in that green box, Silver Surfer, Captain Sam, Death Bull, Icarus Cersei, Kestrel, Emma, Frost, you'd want to uh, slot one of them in, or all of them if you get them. If you get Icarus and Cersei, congratulations, you just won DD2. It won't matter who your other characters are, but you're going to need to build them for the future anyway. Same thing goes with Silver Surfer. He can solo DD2 by himself. <laughs> Again, you win. Never mind if you bring you know any of these characters in. It's going to be largely helpful and largely helpful farther down the line these characters are too. Next, during 60 to 70, things do slow down, so you have to start preparing for the, the uh, campaigns, which you should max them out. Uh, you can't enter the Hero 7 or Villain 7 until you reach level 70, unfortunately. They locked it like that. And once you do that, in order to get to Villain 7 1, you have to complete Hero 7 1. There's really not much in the Hero uh, 7 campaign to farm other than some gear, so it's not a high priority to go and. Uh, get through it, but you can go ahead and get through it as what this character should get. So for Hero 7-1, we need to we need to beat that in order to unlock Villain 7-1, like I said. So who are the best characters to use that we know I I know you can get easily? Well, those characters I have to see are Shang-Chi, which you get out of the Blitz Orb, which you should be open Blitz Orbs and get him fairly easy. Uh, Spider-Man Miles here. You get him out of the Blitz Orbs as well. He's in the Blitz Store. You can buy him individually. He also has a node farm. Fairly easy to get. You're going to need to build him eventually anyway for the Web Warriors team. He's a part of that team. He may not be as good until you hit gear 14, level 75, but he'll still uh, be sufficient enough to get through this node. Uh, next up, of course, is Spider-Man. He's again a part of that Web Warriors team. He works well off Miles. He's a brawler, so he works quite well. Again, you need to build him up anyway. Why not? Uh, up next is Cloak. Now, this could change in the future where we could, uh, with the next member, uh, if Dagger becomes easily attainable to a newer player, then he, uh, go ahead and get her as well along with Cloak. If you only have one, it's going to be Cloak. He's in the raid store. He's easily obtainable. And he does work standalone as well. He's the better standalone of the two. And the fifth character I actually put is Misty Knight. You get her out of the Blitz store as well. So we have four Blitz characters and one Raid Star character. The reason why I put Misty Knight in here is she is a tech character. We will need a, a tech character later on in the Doom campaign. So this will give you a chance to work on her. She also works with Shang-Chi on the Heroes for Hire if you're putting them on defense and more. A couple alternatives would be Squirrel Girl with her recent way work. She is quite good. And she is node farmable and easy to get. And, of course, the other one would be Ms. Marvel. Ms. Marvel, being a brawler, would assist both Spider-Man and Miles uh, as, they, uh, as they attack. Uh, she's a pretty good tank. Just got a, really, got a little bit of a touch-up, so she's even better now as well. And, again, is node farmable, easy to get, and is used to help unlock the legendary Ebony Maw. So you might be wanting to get her anyway. And she's a, I think she's only a one-star unlock, too, if I remember correctly. And then we move on to the Villain 7-1 campaign. So you defeat uh, Hero 7-1, you want to get into Villain 7-1. Unfortunately, on Villain 7-1 through Villain 7-3, because we want to really get to Villain 7-6, or you can click, after that you can use anybody you want in that campaign, but uh, to clear out the villains, uh, you can only use Aim, Hydra, or Sinister 6 characters. And there's really only five characters I would recommend. Uh, of course, the first one being Zemo. If you have him big enough, he can pretty much uh, take out these nodes by himself. He'll be doing most of your damage. Scientist Supreme is the only aim character on this list uh, because we're going to need her later. That's the only reason why <laughs> she's on this list. Might as well fill out the team, I figure. Uh, Electro would be a member of the Sinister Six, easy to get. Uh, she's in the Blitz store. 
you're going to get her anyway. Rhino is also in the Blitz store. You're going to get him anyway. He has some usefulness and more offense and because uh, he can clear blinds. So those are two easy characters to get. Scientist Frame, I forgot to mention, is on a note. Easily farmable, attainable. Uh, I don't remember the exact campaign it is, but she is out there easily attainable. And last but not least is Hydra Grenadier. He is available inside the Raid Store or Raid Orb, just like Zemo. He works incredibly well with Zemo. You're going to probably want to build him up anyway with Zemo. Uh, they do work well together. So next up, you'd have to go to Villain 7-4 to 7-6. 7-6 is where we can find Hela, who we're going to eventually need to unlock uh, Black Bolt, and she can be used to unlock... Uh, Phoenix, for the legendaries, eventually you're going to get those legendaries. They're not as valuable as they used to be, but they still have value. And Hela herself is a good character. Uh, not as, uh, as important as she used to be, but she still finds quite a bit of uses out of her, especially at lower levels. So there's not too many villain mystics uh, you can easily obtain right now. Again, this is probably going to change with the Darkhold uh, team. Uh, like Dr. Strange Heartless is a villain. If you get him, obviously bring him up. So the characters we're going to look at are Loki. He is easily node farmable. He's another one you have to get up to level. You have to get up in star levels to unlock for Phoenix and for Black Bolt as well, because he's an Asgardian. So you might as well bring him. Yandu just got a rework. He's gotten quite better. He would be a really good one. He's a very easy early farm too to get. Juggernaut used to unlock Magneto, plus you can get him out of the arena store fairly easily. Uh, he's a very good tank, actually, too, so go ahead, grab him. Uh, Mordo used for the Phoenix unlocked as well. Just got the re he's got a rework as well, so he's quite good now. Uh, at least decent if you're using the Dark Hunters. Uh, he'll help you out tremendously. And uh, Of course, we have Electra already, so I put her on this list to build up as well. She is part of the Shadowlands team if you're interested in more offense. The only other alternative would be Ronin. He's, he comes out of the Raid Store. You'll probably get him anyway, just opening up Raid Orbs. He is actually good for the, these nodes too, if you don't mind building him up. Uh, you could then eventually, if you're on the side lanes of the, Greek raid, uh, of the Gamma Greek Raid, you could use him there as well. After this, after these nodes, uh, you can clear out the rest of the villains' campaign with whatever villains you want. There's nothing else to build for them. So I hope this gives you an idea of what to build during that uh, little lull of 60 to 70 as you get ready for Dark Dimension 2. Uh, part 3, we'll talk about the Doom campaign, what to build going forward, and uh, plan out for raids and things like that. Until next time.